Estelle, Joshua, I'm glad I found you too. Oh, hi, Aina. Is something wrong? You seem to be in quite a hurry. We've got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Yeah, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents. But what's going on? You know Luke and Pat, right? Uh, that we did. I don't know how to say this, but... I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies to the northern outskirts of Roland. Tower of... Uh, Esmelas? Esmelas. Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. I mean, if you say so. You say that's what they say, but I only hear you saying it. Um, unfortunately at the moment, uh, Sherazard is out on other bracer business, so I want to ask your father to bring ho the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that! Joshua and I will go get them and bring them back! I don't know that that's such a good idea. The two of you only just qualified to be junior bracers today. With all due respect, I believe Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. If the two of us hurry, we may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. One can only hope. It sounds like a big deal, so... I understand. I will take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from Bracey's Guild, I ask that you lose no time in bringing about the safe return of these children. Roger, roger. As Mill's Tower can be reached by taking the western path of the junction along the Malga Trail. Okay then. Stand by the guild. If you're running into trouble, you know where to find me. Come on, Joshua! We don't have any time to lose! To the weapon shop! Uh... Okay, that is actually- I mean, this this stuff is all too expensive for me to buy anyway, but I, I was curious. I wanted to double check. Okay. Uh, and we'll also stop off in here. Oh! I wonder if Luke and Pat are alright. I tried my best to stop them. No current job listings. Uh, so I'll go after those boys in a, but a moment. But uh, first... Hmm. Well, we found her anyway. I'm glad that she's safe and wasn't eaten by monsters. <laughs> yeah. I laugh. I laugh, but I'm actually quite genuine about that in making that statement. <laughs> oh wait, I'm supposed to attack from behind, aren't I? Well, I suppose as long as I'm not attacked but from behind, it's fine. Well, I've got my I've got my limit break. Piece of cake. And fire and silver. What was silver again? Space or time? I think it might have also been illusion, though. Whatever the heck that is. Gotta remember, I can rotate the camera. Preemptive strike! Oh 
hey, strength up. Getting just running closer is probably. Yeah, I have a whole extra turn, presumably because of my preemptive strike. Also, maybe this enemy is just very slow. There's three of them now. Okay. Uh oh. Dual strikes. Did not kill it. buy any ingredients either. So, I can't just easily heal after the battle. That's that then. Let's move out. Oh, but I did get monster flash. Can I, can, can I do anything with the monster flash? Um, I'm not sure how to cook. Oh wait, I bought some food though, didn't I? I remember doing that. Oh, this actually has additional effects. I should use it in when I'm in a fight then. Also, um, that one? Aha! That one. Okay, that's a. Hmm. That seems a, like quite a lot of things for just some french fries. I guess they do have a bonus effect, though. Let's see. I, I'm supposed to go this way, right? Um. Nope. Nope. Aha! I found it. Okay, this is just like a little side area. Oh, there's a box. I mean, we gotta open that, right? Found a reviving bomb. Not a thing remains in the chest except a lonely, dead spider. Let's go with that. <laughs> hmm, maybe I should have attacked the other one actually. Yeah, I don't think Estelle can reach that. Let's do this! <laughs> Activate cool guy mode! Oh hey, I got an item. Uh, yeah, may as well. Oh, come on, Estelle. So close. And yet, so very far. 
Okay, I do not know what the exclamation mark is, so I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay, you missed. Oh, it's a critical boost. That's cool. Not very useful in this particular case, but cool. Seriously, Joshua? Seriously? Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Don't do this to me, Joshua. Whew. That was a close one. Uh, yeah, you should probably, like, throw... Maybe Joshua needs something to cure his, his seeming blindness, but you can't actually reach. So... <laughs> oh, you can heal him with magic, though. I kind of want to use the item. Let's do that. And, uh, you can heal yourself. Take! <laughs> Maybe a little bit of overkill. But, uh, hey, it works. We're gonna level up after this battle as well, so we'll get to see how that works. Criminal Strike! Not quite enough. Unfortunately. Good to go. Okay. Estelle learned taunt. Neat. Uh, and that one doesn't seem too bad. Dirty carrot. Gummy. Wait. The caramel eye has a carrot in it? Oh, it's Caramine Eye. I was reading this Caramel. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. And I was fully healed for leveling up. So, uh, good to know. Very good to know that it works like that. Uh, Roland is... Okay, that's 126. Okay. Good to know. And there's a mine that way, but I need to go towards the tower. Oh, uh-oh. Found a tear bomb. The chest is empty. I wonder whose fault that is. I wonder. It certainly could not be a stealth fault. Oh, well. Uh, I really probably should have bought some ingredients. <laughs> that might have been a good call. I actually really like this mechanic. Piece of cake. It makes it feel special without, but it sort of like, it encourages you to use it without, uh, without punching you for saving it up, I feel. Which is really nice. Looks like we've come all the way to the Asmela's Eth Tower. I didn't see any sign of them among the trail, along the trail. So do you think they've wandered inside? 
It's quite likely that that's the case. Let's go in. It looks like we need to hurry. Okay, but uh, first, before we go in, uh, what's around the outside? Nothing! Okay. And, okay. I feel like I should, um, do that. Still in the prologue, I see. That... Hmm. It's dark in here. I'm scared. Quit being a baby, you big baby. We're only on the first floor of this place. Did you hear that? They really did come in here. Luke! Hat! If you can hear me, answer now! Those little prats. Are they pretending they can't hear me? They might have climbed up to the second floor. Let's hurry and see if we can find them. Oh, ooh. That's dynamic lighting right there. That... And I have the shadows from both of the torches as well. That's... That's freaking amazing. Like, this... This might not seem like a big deal, but genuinely... Dude, that is not easy to do. And to do it in a game like this, like, it's more... It's way more, more attention to detail than I would have ever expected. Color me impressed. Uh, I guess I should rotate so I can see. Ooh, what are we gonna do? So somebody help! Uh, I will. I'll stick with Joshua. I think Estelle is definitely the type who would rush in for, uh, on her own, but, uh, but no, I, I, I want Joshua with me. Ooh, this is different. Okay, protect the NPCs, got it. They're stealing the bonuses. It's not like you can use strength up anyway. What are you doing? You ah. that blue haired bastard uh, is gonna get himself killed. Despite the and despite the kid's best attempt, we have managed to get him out unharmed. Or so it seems. It looks like that's that. I'm glad everyone's safe too. By the way, that was great timing when you blitzed those monsters and stuff. You really think so? Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome! 
Yes, this definitely feels like a mid voice. <laughs> That's appropriate here. You really showed them a spell. Not bad for a girl. Seriously, Luke, I'm I I have I have my rod right here. I am I will smack you with it. You! You even dragged poor Pat all the way up here against his will! It's time to think about what you did today! Ow, oh, you're hurting me! Stop it! So this is the things I get for saving your neck. Looks like it's time to give you some of my special discipline! Damn straight it was. Um, Estelle, shouldn't we forgive each other like they did at school? This brat doesn't need forgiveness, but a little discipline should do the trick. I see you there. Estelle, behind you! Um... It looks more like a bug, actually. So, mandibles? No, no, that definitely has teeth. It's Dad to the rescue, who also uses a staff, I see. Nice touch. You still lack skill and understanding, Estelle. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. Uh, hmm. It is part of what it means to be a bracer. I guess I could do like a British accent, but I'm not really. I can. I can't though, really. Like, I still look at him, and I wanted to. I want to give him like a upper crust accent just to look at him. <laughs> But I'm not good at any of those. I can do a good, a passable Cockney accent, but that's that's not what I'm talking about here. I just happened to be in town and heard the whole story from Ina. I'll give you points for your quick thinking and taking action to come after the children. But you failed to follow through completely. I really messed up, didn't I? It's a good thing you showed up when you did. I'm sorry, I should have been watching for back. That just means you have room for improvement. Constantly working to overcome your weak spots. That is the key! So how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? That was incredible, Mr. Bright! You were like a gazillion times more awesome than a spell. Ha ha ha! Of course I was. I'm her father. Alright everyone, let's file on out of here. <laughs> it really traps her hide. That's just the way he is. After all, he is Cassius Bright. It seems like you had quite the day. That is just unbelievable. The second we get back to Roland, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you and takes off for home. The sheer nerve, I tell you. That's true. Uh, I guess we just finished reporting. Oh, hey! We got, we got paid! Ta-da! Um, plus three BP, and... I guess we got plus one BP for respond for 
acting responsibly when we rescued the boys? That is my take on... That is how I'm interpreting this. You did well for your first assignment. From the details of your report alone, I believe I can commend you both for a job well done. You should prove, be proud of yourselves. Y you really think so? I know so. In fact, you'll do an even better on the next job. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Would you mind holding on a second? A letter arrived for your father just a little while ago. Unfortunately, since he went straight home, I never got the chance to give it to him. Do you think you could deliver it instead? I imagine so. The letter appears to be from one of our foreign branches. Hmm. As I'm sure you already know by now, Libro isn't the only country where the Bracer Guild exists. On top of that, your father is widely known all across the continent. Okay. Now, I gave them... I gave them the free pass in the first time they said the Zamurian continent, but now it is just redundant. <sighs> anyway, I wonder if that's like a language thing. Like maybe, maybe that doesn't feel out of place in, say, Japanese. If you two would be so kind as to make sure he gets this letter, I would really appreciate it. Because it's definitely out of place in English. Um, 